Shout out here, and today we are in American Truck Simulator, and uh, we're going to be delivering some sugar from Oxnard to Ehrenberg, just while we actually talk about E3 this year. Um, kind of realized that I really need to talk about it because it is ne next weekend. Holy cow, E3 is next weekend already. Saturday the 9th. It's start. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's already next weekend. That's already... Okay. So... <laughs> this is interesting. I just realized next weekend is also rodeo weekend for the place where I live. Um, so that's lovely. Because um, I have to help with that since I work for the place that does it. Okay. Ooh, look! It updated. We have cables. Look at that physics on those cables. Okay. Wait for this red light. Oh, we don't even have to wait for the red light. <laughs> but we do. In a way. Um, I don't know how somebody's gonna turn the way that that line's po that's pointing, but, you know, whatever. I think we need this lane. Nah. We'll just look. There we go. Oh. Slow down just a bit. Yep. Especially now, considering that's a red light. So, E3 2018 is next weekend. Or, uh, depending on when you're watching this, it might be this weekend. Um, I'm hoping to get this out pretty quick, but uh, it is Thursday. So, uh, we'll have to see what happens. You guys could be watching this two days before it starts. Um, anyways, as I was saying, uh, it starts on Saturday. Um, kind of an interesting thing on Saturday is it starts at noon. Uh, for me, I'm Central Standard Time. Off daylight, same? I can't remember. I'm in a weird place where I don't change time zones ever. My time stays the same. So that's pretty sweet. Oh gosh. Okay, that was right through the intersection and everybody's gonna stop for me now. Oops. Don't come to a train. That's a lot of vehicles actually waiting for me. Oops. Anyways, um... So yeah, just... I guess a big weekend coming up. Um, one thing that I was going to say, EA, yeah, that's what I was going to say, I was going to start what I was going to say, uh, EA starts on Saturday at noon, uh, Central Standard Time, and, uh, if you're in Denver, that also means, you know, 12 for you as well. Steep grades ahead is what that said. I was wondering what that was about. Alright, and then... Ooh, yeah, you can feel those grades. There, but we need to start talking about E3. Um, EA is Saturday at noon. Uh, that one's their EA Play event is more what it is. Um, that one should be okay. I don't... I mean, they're going to probably have their sports games and all that kind of stuff. Like they always do. So, won't be probably many surprises there. Uh, next up, we have Microsoft, which is Sunday at 2 p.m. 
so we'll have to see what that one brings, because that one could bring some interesting things. Um, kind of in their lineup, I saw though that they have uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 actually in their lineup, so I'm really intrigued as to what that's all about. Um, probably another Forza game, like always. So, yeah, we'll definitely have to wait and see what Xbox has planned for us. I hope they have a special edition Xbox One X, because I really want to get one, and I want a special edition one. Just kind of the kind of mood that I'm in, I guess. If I'm going to get something to replace my other Xbox, I want. I, I want the One X in special edition. Otherwise, I may as well just keep my uh, One X. Or, not my One X, my One um, next up at five and a half hours later is Bethesda, so sev Sunday at 7.30. Um, Fallout 76, that one's coming out, that's going to be interesting. Um, we'll have to see what exactly that one is. I'll talk about it in a little bit here. Um, then we have Square Enix, not, well I guess Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be something that they'll probably announce. Um, and then we have Ubisoft. Oh, uh, that one is Square Enix is Monday at 11 a.m. Okay, good. For a second there, I thought that we were about to miss our turn off. Good to go. We made it. Everybody's outside. Nope. Ooh, that's not a good sight. There you go. So yeah, Square Enix is Monday at 11 a.m. Uh, then we go on to Ubisoft, Monday at 2 p.m. we want this exit. So yeah, Monday at 2 p.m. will be Ubisoft. Um, probably big news about the crew too. Probably all the details will be revealed then considering that comes out at the end of this month. Uh, um, I don't think there is anything else. I guess the Division 2 will be interesting to see what's different about the Division 2. Um, but then two hours later, so I feel like it's going to run, the Ubisoft show is going to run into this one. But it'll be the PC gaming show, and that's Monday at 4 p.m. So that one could be interesting. I think NVIDIA this year has it. So it could be a little bit be better done. Um, hopefully. Hopefully they say, yeah, let's just actually do things about PC gaming. Um, not just goofing around for however long. I don't know if any of you guys were Nerd Cubed. Two years ago, that was <laughs> the best hashtag that trended more than anything else from E3 came out. So if, if you guys are wondering, just kind of look up that one, because that was pretty good. <laughs> um, next up, Monday at 7 p.m., we have Sony. Uh, Sony could be interesting uh, to see what they come up, come out with. I um, feel like they are, they are going to have lots, so could be a good press conference for them and then uh, Tuesday at 10 a.m. we have Nintendo uh, which Nintendo seems to be making a lot of Pokemon announcements right now so um, I guess basically it's gonna be a lot of more information about those games that they're just announcing now so uh, looking forward to it see what kind of cool things Nintendo has up their sleeves um, so that's all for the press conferences. And then the actual E3 thing goes until Thursday, but I won't be there, so unfortunately that's all we get is live streams. Um Ooh, ooh. Oops. May not have been paying complete attention there. 
you notice I was about to hit a guardrail. That was really bad. Um, next, so that that's the live streams um, that will be available. Um, EA, I will probably be watching. Same with the Microsoft and Bethesda ones. Uh, Square Enix, it's gonna be tight. I have other plans in the morning uh, that go until about noonish, twelve thirty, noon, twelve thirty. So unfortunately, that one I might have to watch as a vod or something. Uh, Ubisoft. Oh wait. No, Microsoft and Bethesda will be watching on Sunday. EA, I will definitely watch on Saturday. Square Enix, I am at work, uh, so I will be able to catch that at 11.30 on my lunch break. <laughs> and Ubisoft at 2 p.m. Uh, I'll be joining in at 2.30 until my break. <laughs> for my break until 3. And then... Um, then I'll have to go, and then at 4 p.m. I will be joining the PC Gaming Show. Well, I won't be joining it, but I'll be watching it. Um, so yeah, I'll get to watch the PC Gaming Show at 4. And then the Sony event. I am glad that Microsoft is on Sunday, because I can't remember. I think it was last year I was working during the time that Microsoft was on, and that really sucked. Um, I, I like watching the press conferences and stuff. So, no, I'll be able to watch a few, uh, yeah, Sony I'll be able to watch, and then Nintendo there's no hope, because, <laughs> yeah, I finished my break at 10, so, yeah, that one I won't, definitely won't be able to watch at all. Um, so yeah, EA, Saturday at noon, Microsoft, Sunday at 2 p.m., Bethesda at 7.30 on Sunday, uh, yeah. PC gaming show Monday at 4 p.m. and Sony at 7 p.m. are the ones where I'll be able to watch the whole thing. And then Square Enix for an hour, half an hour in. And then Ubisoft is going to be for half an hour after half an hour. So unfortunately that's it. I would, what I would actually love to do is I would love to stream those and talk with them and show my, um, whatchamacallit I'd love to stream my reactions um, unfortunately I won't be able to so what I think I'm going to do is I might record them as they go or what I will do is I will go to all of them and I will record every single one of them as like a VOD I'll try to find the VODs for them and uh, record those as I watch it and show you guys my reactions like I would really like to do that because I feel like there could be some really cool things coming out so I'm really excited for those and I hope you guys are too um, those would be some pretty good press conferences and I'm excited for it um, the next thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is the E3 rumors that I am going to be watching for in those press conferences because there's quite a few of them that I'm looking forward to um, well sorry there's uh, news about games and stuff as well as there's some interesting new tech to watch out for as well apparently uh, the first one is cyber shoes they are virtual reality shoes that you can slip over top of your existing shoes and then like run and then it, in VR it uh, runs for you and all that kind of stuff I thought that was pretty cool that they're they're looking into doing that because that's my whole thing about VR is you usually have to use it like a controller and then it's not totally immersive um, but that's all right so that'd be pretty cool if they could come up with some some way of walking while you play um, the next thing is farming simulator 19 I can't wait to see more information about that like that's been kind of the game that I've been waiting for information on because I absolutely love that game and I love just relaxing to farming sim and now, now I've been playing with friends a little bit and I have to say it's definitely better with uh, with your friends uh, so yeah it's supposed to be full graphics overhaul and everything so 
I'm excited for that one. I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, next up is there's the announcement of Twitch extensions. So, like, it's full on extensions. Like, you know how in other things you have extensions, like uh, browser extensions in Chrome and all that? Yeah, but Twitch is supposed to be getting those. So who knows what developers can make? I, I mean, we'll probably have to wait until they're fully announced and released. But yeah, I'm excited to see what comes out of them. What is actually, um, what is actually to be done with these extensions, and what will come out on day one? Uh, next up, Fallout 76 has been teased. I'm excited for it. I just saw the little bit of a trailer for it and it's Fallout 76 and I'm like, okay, this is exciting. I love Fallout, which, by the way, I bought Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. So, <laughs> there's a funny story behind that one. Actually, I might tell that story in another, um, in, the, in a different video um, for you guys because I want to finish this one up first. Um, but anyways, yeah, so love Fallout, been playing it quite a bit. Um, expect more videos on that one. Uh, um, and what I'm most looking forward to is this Fallout 76, like when the war is over and all must be rebuilt. Like, it's like, um, what? Is this, like, my question is, is this going to be like, it's going to be after the war, you're going to be out, all the fighting's happened like done as well I mean you'll probably still have mutants and stuff but is this game solely going to be that you exit the vault and your task is to rebuild the world or like the game world at least but whatever whatever kind of area they put us in whether it be like who knows maybe they'll go big and go Texas that would be pretty sweet actually huge open world like that like Boston was already massive for Fallout 4 so I would love to see that. I would love to see more stuff like that. Um, so that'd be really cool. Like if you have to just go out, basically out, collect materials and stuff, and with that you can like upgrade paving, upgrade cities, upgrade all these different things, or have supply lines from different cities. And eventually, you could even. It'd be amazing if you could even get like cars. Like if you could start rebuilding cars and make like old school cars, and then you can upgrade them. Oh, like I them just going this is going to be after the war this is going to be kind of a kind of a different type of game just makes me go oh please please like please let this be so that all you do is rebuild like an upgrade stuff and like instead of a perk chart chart for fighting and bar, bar well I guess there could still be a bartering chart but like for all of their upgrade paths, like let it be like you can upgrade your vehicles, you can upgrade your homes, you can upgrade your paths, you can upgrade all this kind of stuff. Like start growing grass, make it all grassy and green. That would be absolutely amazing. I would absolutely love to see that. Um, so yeah, and like oh, I'm so excited for Fallout. I should just make a whole video just talking about what I want out of it. Um, and I'm gonna move on because otherwise I could I'll talk about this the whole time uh, The next one is cyberpunk 2077. It's been rumored that that's gonna be coming or something from CD project red I'm hoping it's pro uh, Cyberpunk 2077 because I remember when I saw that game. I was like I want that game. This game looks really good um, So let's hope Let's hope that maybe they'll finally announce something about it uh, next one is n64 classic um, there's been a whole bunch of patents for it and everything, so let's hope that Nintendo will actually announce it and, like, Super Mario World be on it. That would be amazing. Uh, the next one is Death Stranding. I'm not really interested in the game. What I'm more interested about is the way that Kideo Kojima, like, announced it and stuff, and it just, it left everybody confused. So... Yeah, I'm really excited to see where that one turns out and if there's going to be more confusion or not when it comes to that. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, just just to see what it does, because he always makes things so interesting. 
And the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is Kingdom Hearts 3. We have been waiting for this game for so long that it's like as long as it's even half as good as the first two, I'm still excited. And it looks absolutely amazing. The other thing that gets me is it's supposed to be coming to Xbox. And with that, like it's supposed to be, it's scheduled to be at the Xbox E3 event. Like, oh, I so hope even, I guess it's, it's supposed to be Kingdom Hearts 3, but even if it's like just Kingdom Hearts coming out and saying, hey, guess what? We're still working on Kingdom Hearts 3, but Kingdom Hearts, def like some kind of addition that lets you play the first and the second one on Xbox, I would be the happiest person alive and I would be getting it. I have them on PS2, but I would love to get achievements in Kingdom Hearts on Xbox. I would be buying it again. So, oh, that's one of those games that just makes me go, oh, please let this happen. Please let it happen. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little excited for like two or three games, you know, just just a little bit. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's been kind of my E3. Just letting you guys know which events and what I want to do. Like I said, I wish I could live stream, but it just won't happen, unfortunately, especially when I got to work for lots of those events. So... I'm kind of unfortunately in a little bit of a bad place. Well, apparently I am like up against the I thought I still had a little bit of room. There you go. Oops, I forgot to turn my wheels back. So yeah, like I said, EA... Actually, no, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. For those of you that listen to the whole thing, I am going to record my reactions to these games um, that are coming out. Oh. Park the trailers. Oops. 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 Oops so excited <laughs> um anyways i'm gonna record most of them i think at least oh whatever i'll just put it in properly at this point i'm still talking anyways uh for sure ea microsoft bethesda because of fallout 76 uh square enix if they have anything interesting i might um i might even do one and then if it's no good then whatever uh ubisoft i feel like i will be because there's a couple games for that one that i'm looking out PC gaming show I feel like could be really boring and it might be cuts of the thing um, So we'll we'll just see about that about how that one actually goes because like I said if it's gonna be boring I'm just gonna cut lots of it out um, the next thing Well Sony probably the whole thing and Nintendo will see how that one is I, I probably will end up um, recording the Nintendo one and T giving you guys my reaction um i used to write blog posts and stuff about it but those took forever so i think this year yeah i'm actually going what i'm actually going to do is i'm not going to watch them completely live afterwards i'll find the vod and then from the vod i will go and uh two with the vod if i do that then if somebody calls me or something i can pause the game or I can pause it and then come back to it to do my reactions. So, like I said, that's what I'll do. I will record and give you guys my reactions. There might be cuts. There might be little things like that, especially when it comes to the EA Sports stuff. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more e E3 event coverage.